This video is all about trying to find the range of the following functions. They're all modulus functions, okay, um, given the domain, okay? So part of this is going to be, can we sketch and have a look at what these graphs look like? Um, and then can we identify the range from that? So let's have a look at number one. Nice and straightforward, y equals modulus x. So that's what y equals mod x looks like, okay? Now, if you have said that it's only going between minus 1 and 3, so minus 1, so from that point there uh, to 3, which is somewhere over here, okay, then I'm not needing any of that bit or that bit. So what I need to know is what that y value is, okay? And I know that that y value is zero. So that means if I can work out that value there, the y value, well, when, y is equal, when x is equal to three, sorry, y is equal to modulus of three, which is three. And so the range is going from zero to three. So we want to write this correctly because we can be at y, uh, uh, at zero, sorry. So y is greater than equal to zero, okay, because we can, we can be there. But when x, x is less than three, and so we can't actually reach three. So we can be at zero all the way up to almost three, but not quite, okay? So that is the range of our first function. Right, let's look at number two. So y is equal to the modulus of x take away two plus three. So let's sketch that first. So this is a modulus function with its, uh, its vertex at two, three. Remember, complete a square form. Uh, inside the modulus changes sign, the one outside stays the same. So two, three, two along, three up. And then you've got your modulus graph. Looks something like that. So that's at 3, 2, okay, like that. So x belongs to real numbers. So it's allowing all real values of x. What's the range? Well, the lowest point is 3. So the range must be y is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, so from that point upwards, as far as you can go, y is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, that's the second one. Third one, so uh, the vertex is at minus 3, minus 5, so minus 3, minus 5, so somewhere down here. Then we're going to have our V shape. Okay. Um, so we're going between minus 3 and 8. Now remember, that's minus 3, so we're not having any of that. We're not actually uh, equaling minus 3 either, so that I'm going to keep that as a hollow dot because we're not including that one. But we're going up to 8, so let's put 8 there. And we're including that one, so I'll put that as a solid dot. So I just need to work out what the y value is. Now remember the y value here was minus 5 because that was at the vertex. So what's the y value for 8? Well, I'd have 8 plus 3 is 11. So the modulus of 11 is 11. 11 take away 5 is 6. So we're going from minus 5, so greater than minus 5, not including it, uh, all the way up to 6, and we're including that. So this is the range for number 3. Right, let's have a look at number 4. So let's sketch it. It's got a vertex at 8, 10. So 8, 10. So somewhere up here. Okay. So that's 8 along, 10 up. Now, uh, I should probably be a little bit more careful about where it's crossing the uh, x axis. Uh, sorry, where it's crossing the y axis here. So when x is 0, 
we're going to get the modulus of minus 8, so that's uh, just 8. So 10 take away 16, so minus 6. So it would look something like this. OK, so that'd be minus 6. So that is what the graph looks like when x belongs to the real numbers. If we're restricting the domain to 6 to 9, well, um, when x is 6, I'm assuming we're not at the x-axis there, but when x is 6, we're going to get 6 take away 8, which is minus 2. Modulus is 2. 10 take away 4 is 6. Right, so at 6... we get 6. Okay. And then at 9, okay, so pop in 9. So when x is 9, we get 9 take away 8, which is 1. Modulus of 1 is 1. 10 take away 2 lots of 1 is 8. So that point there is 8. And that's included. So what is the range of this function? Well, the lowest point is 6, the highest point is 10, and they're both included. So that must be the range for number 4. Now, don't forget, you know, if you don't like substituting values in to the modulus in your head, you find that a little bit challenging, that's perfectly fine. Your calculator has an ABS button, so... Um, in the left-hand bracket, or left-hand parenthesis, just above it, the ABS. So if you do shift and then that button, then you get the modulus signs up. So you can substitute values in. So you can type in 10, take away two lots, shift, abs. Um, then uh, what will we put in? 6, so 6, take away 8. And then you can get the 6. So you can get the Y value out. Okay, so you can use your calculator to help you with these. But that is how we can find the required ranges uh, given these restricted domains.